गुड न्यूज टुडे नई उम्मीद जगाने वाला हिंदी न्यूज चैनल Of the 34 provinces that make up Afghanistan, the Taliban now controls 33, with only one single province now holding out against the Taliban, and that is Panjshir. Well, today the Taliban claims to have taken over full control and captured Panjshir for the first time in history. It's the last area that has been holding out. against the Taliban they've even hoisted a flag at the governor's office making this their claim of victory but the resistance leaders say Panjshir has not fallen Amrullah Saleh's close aide has told India today that the Taliban is lying through its teeth and the resistance still stands strong <laughs> The battle for Panjshir is in its final stages. The last anti-Taliban bastion witnessing its probable end game. This is the defining image of Taliban's claim of conquering Panjshir. Taliban fighters posing outside the governor's house in this outpost, even hoisting the Islamic Emirate flag at the governor's residence, trying to put a seal of approval on their victory claim. Alhamdulillah, mashallah, alhamdulillah. The Taliban also claimed to have captured more US made Black Hawk helicopters which were used by caretaker president Amrullah Saleh and Northern Alliance leader Ahmad Masood. The Taliban claim They offered options for docks to the resistance forces which went unheeded. But resistance forces have denied the Taliban's claims, claiming that their fighters are still holding key positions high up in the Panjshir mountains. Masood's spokesperson spoke to Turkish TRT World Channel minutes before the Taliban claimed that they had captured Panjshir. He said the resistance is still in an advantageous position. The Taliban claimed to have inflicted heavy casualties on resistance forces. Fahim Dashti, the spokesperson of the resistance force and key aide of Ahmad Masood, has reportedly been killed in the Panjshir battle. The Taliban blamed it on factional fighting in the resistance. In another blow to resistance forces, its chief commander Saleh Mohammad was also reportedly killed by the Taliban. Ahmad Masood's nephew, General Abdul Udud Zare, too was reportedly killed in Rokha district of Panjshir. He was involved in negotiations with the Taliban on the future of Afghanistan. Another of Masood's nephews, Munib Amiri, was also reportedly killed in a gunfight. As the battle intensified, resistance forces chief Ahmad Masood has been in Tajikistan for the last 3 days, while former Vice President Amrullah Saleh is still holding on in Panjshir at an undisclosed location and believed for now to be safe. His key aide told India today that he has not abandoned his people. With Hikmatullah Ahmad Zadi in Kabul, Bureau Report, India Today. What is this one? So let's tell you about Panjshir right now. The Taliban claims that they have captured Panjshir, but the resistance claims that Panjshir has not fallen just yet. Panjshir is the last stand against the Taliban. Amrullah Saleh is the ex-vice president of Afghanistan and now the self-declared president is believed to be at an undisclosed location inside Panjshir. Ahmad Mossad is the leader of the resistance forces and the son of the great Tajik fighter Ahmad Shah Masood he is in Tajikistan for the last 3 days meanwhile Ahmad Masood has called for peace if the Taliban withdraws their forces from Panjshir and Andaram Zabiullah Mujahid the spokesperson of the Taliban has claimed that the Taliban has captured all of the Panjshir valley he says that Panjshir is completely conquered at this time And now in a big exclusive I'm joined live from Tajikistan by Zaheer Akbar he's Afghanistan's ambassador to Tajikistan and also a visible resistance leader someone who openly supports the Northern Alliance resistance against the Taliban ambassador Akbar thank you very much for speaking to us here on India today my first question to you sir on a day of big developments the Taliban has claimed 
that they have taken control of Panshir. They've also taken over the governor's house there. They've hoisted a flag. What is the actual position on the ground? Has Panshir fallen, sir? Tashakur me kono mashma qayda hai jang hasle hazen nizami harazi hamesha dast ba dast mesha. Thank you very much. And uh, in war, in battles, uh, territories are going back and forth always. Taliba, در زمان بسیار کم تانستن که بالای سی و سی ولایت افغانستان تسلط حاصل بکنن ولی خوشبختانه که تا به حال در پنشیر نتانستن که تسلط حاصل بکنن The Taliban uh, were able to uh, take over Afghanistan uh, very quickly and rapidly but unfortunately uh, but luckily they were not able to uh, take over Panjshir that fast دلیل یه هم که در سی و سی ولایت افغانستان طالبا تسلط پیدا کرد یک معامله مخفی اشرف غنی با طالبا بود The reason the Taliban were able to take over 33 provinces out of the 34 in Afghanistan was because Ghani had made a prior deal and surrendered these provinces to the Taliban ولی خوشحال هستم که در پنشیر جوانا مقاومت میکنن و جبه مقاومت در برابر طالب ها هستادگی دارن uh, but I'm very delighted that the people in Panjshir are uh, resisting the Taliban. So that's a first official confirmation from a person who is part of the resistance. He's Afghanistan's current envoy to Tajikistan saying that Panjshir has not fallen. Mr. Akbar, Ambassador Akbar, uh, you're saying that the resistance is still in control in strategic points in Panjshir. Can you tell us, sir, about the specific whereabouts of Ahmed Masood and Amrullah Saleh? ما با امرولای سالی صحبتی صحبت کردم امرولای سالی کاملا صحت است در داخل افغانستان است فعلا در پنشیر حضور داره ولی متاسف هستم که تیارات بمباردمان دو مرتبه خانهش بمبارد کرد و خوشبختانه که و امرولای سالی حاسیبی نرسیده پریزیدن سالی is doing completely fine he is inside افغانستان in پنشیر uh, unfortunately, yesterday in the helicopters that uh, went into Panjshir for bombarding, uh, they attacked his house. Uh, and Mr. Ambassador spoke to him uh, earlier today, and he is doing completely fine. And the son of our national hero uh, is also in a safe place. There are reports, Ambassador Akbar, of you know the Pakistan air support to Taliban forces in Panjshir, that they've been using fighter aircraft and drones uh, 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 Ahmed Masood is understood to have tweeted a short while ago with a picture of a Pakistan Air Force fighter jet shot down as well. Can you shed more light on what kind of air support Pakistan is providing to the Taliban in Panchi? Uh, the reports that we had, uh, there were uh, aircrafts that had bom started bombing Panchir. این بمباردمان را یک مرتبه هرزیابی بکنن I hope that the regional countries and the international community uh, look into these uh, bombardings that are taking place in Panjshir و این یک تجاوز مستقیم است و این بررسی را به دنیا آشکارا بسازن This is a uh, invasion that is taking in, in Panjshir and uh, this is something that should be uh, looked into and uh, shown to the world of what is actually going on Ambassador Akbar, there have been some conflicting reports that Fahim Dashti, you know, spokesperson of Ahmad Masood, uh, has lost his life in a Pakistan drone attack or an airstrike. Can you confirm this, sir? We've been in touch with him for the last many days as well. He's been speaking to the Indian media. Is it true that Fahim Dashti has lost his life in a Pakistan airstrike? Fahim Dashti wa Jandal Udud, do chera wa do shakhsiyate دوره جهاد و کسانی بودند که اسنام و نشان بسیار خوبی در افغانستان برخوردار بودند. فهیم داشتی و جنرال ادود are two figures uh, that are well known uh, from the first resistance that took place in Afghanistan. و اینا شخصیت هایی بودند که هم در دوره جهاد از خود اما سها فریده بودند و هم در دوره مقاومت. Uh, these are uh, figures that uh, the people respected well uh, from, uh, from the past even up to now. بدبختانه که دو دوست عزیز خود را که نهایت با ما صمیمی بودند و دوستای بسیار نزدیک بودیم دیروز ما از دست دادیم. Unfortunately, uh, we lost two of our very close friends yesterday who we were uh, very close with. 
و یک تعداد هست مجاهدین خود را and also some of our uh, resistance forces as well باز تکرار میکنم امیدوار هستم که این بمباردمان و تیراندازی هایی که توسط تیارات ناشناس در داخل پنشیر صورت گرفته ایر جامعه بین المللی بررسی بکنه و به دنیا اعلان بداره uh, also i want to recall it once again that these aircraft uh, unknown aircraft that had in, uh, attacked panchir uh, be held, uh, be uh, searched by the international community of their whereabouts and where they came from I'm very sorry to hear about uh, the loss uh, of uh, Fahim Dashti and the other person you just named. Uh, uh, you know, as you said, this is a this is a conflict that is going to continue at this time, but the resistance has not fallen. Ambassador Akbar, what next for the resistance? This is a much stronger Taliban that the resistance has faced in the past. Uh, you know, where do you see the resistance going now? The Taliban, uh, you know, has already entered Panjshir, even though you're claiming that it has not fallen just yet. Any hope of international community support, or is it just a matter of time before Panjshir falls to the Taliban, sir? Darjang hech kas barandan is. In war, there is no, there are no winners. Agar darjang barandan meshot, Russia ek bakh dar Afghanistan barandan mesh. There were winners in war. The Russians would have been declared winners in Afghanistan in the past. طالبان حامدان تمام افغانستان را گرفتن ولی برنده نشدن. The Taliban came in and took over all of Afghanistan but they didn't win. آدی شکی نیست که فعلا حرازی افغانستان را طالبان گرفته. There is no doubt that the Taliban controlled the territories in Afghanistan. ولی مشروعیت افغانستان پیش ما هست ولی در یک گوشه کو هم امر لای صالح باش. But we hold the legitimacy and that is even if uh, President Saleh is up in a small corner of a mountain. مقاومت افغانستان ما باور دارم که آستا آستا شکل بزرگ بر خود میگیره. Uh, I believe that the resistance of Afghanistan uh, is going to uh, take a bigger figure. با تاسف که طالبا وقتی که غلبه کردن در افغانستان اکثریت مردم و رهبرا و قماندانا را غافلگیر کردند. Uh, unfortunately when the Taliban attacked Afghanistan they caught the commanders and the political leaders and everyone off guard. باور ما ایسا که فعلا اکثریت رهبران و اکثریت قماندانا دوره جهاد و مقاومت مصروف جا به جا کردن خانواده های خود هستند ولی هی مقاومت آیستا آیستا به تایر ولایت هم انتقال پیدا می کنند. We believe that the uh, commanders and the political leaders opposing the Taliban are currently uh, trying to find safe havens for their family members and this resistance will uh, spread across all of Afghanistan. و ای جای نهایت افتخار است که سرزمین پنشیب از حقوق تمام مردم افغانستان فعلا در سنگر دفاع هست. And it is an honor that the uh, Panjshir Valley is currently defending uh, all of the people of Afghanistan. Uh, we will not lose Panjshir. Uh, we will lose Panjshir when we, uh, we have lost our hearts. Taliban have not won over the uh, uh, hearts of the people. I believe that with the Kabul and Afghanistan با این برخوردهای ظالمانه طالبان از افغانستان میکشند. I do believe that uh, through time the people in Kabul and every other province in Afghanistan will resist the Taliban sticks and stones and uh, battle against them. کسانی که طالبان را حمایت میکنند و همکاری نظامی میکنند. Uh, those that uh, support the Taliban logistically and militarily. Hmm. و یک چیز را بفهمن که هیچ وقت هیچ متجاوز گری در افغانستان کامیاب نشده. Uh, they should know that there was never uh, someone who invaded Afghanistan and uh, won the battle. Ambassador Akbar, my final question to you, uh, uh, what are you hoping will India's role be going forward? You know, so far, uh, 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 you know, there has been a lot of speculation about what India will do. India has been a close ally of Afghanistan in the past as well. What is your personal hope, sir? As someone who supports the resistance, we're seeing this conflict in Panchi right now. What is your hope from India? We'll understand the expectation. اندستان مانند سایر کشورها کشور دوست و یک دوست نیک است به افغانستان uh, like many other countries India is a great ally of Afghanistan مردم افغانستان از مردم هندستان خاطری خوش دارن the people of Afghanistan have great memories from the people of India ما امیدوار هستم که در مسئله افغانستان تنها کشور هندستان نه بلکه دنیا سهیم شود uh, I hope that uh, not only the uh, the government of India, but the uh, international community uh, is involved in, uh, gets involved uh, in Afghanistan. Terrorism, قاچاق مواد مخدر, قاچاق انسان, و 
حرکت های مذهبی که اون قابل قبول هیچ کس نیست دنیا را متاثر می سازن تروریسم، درگ ترافیکنگ، هیومن ترافیکنگ و از این ریلیجن از این اکسکیوز ویل برنگ سادنس و تراجیدی تراجیدی تا دورد اگر کشورها و منطقه در این مسئله به تفاوت قرار می گیرن ما باور دارم که این وضعیت یک روز دامنگیر از اینا هم میشه اگر این انترنشنال کمیونیتی و ریژنال کنتریز دو نا تک پارد این دیس This will eventually spread and be a source of problems for them as well. I hope that they will continue supporting Afghanistan in the peace process. I hope that they will continue supporting Afghanistan in the peace process. I hope that they will continue supporting Afghanistan in the peace process. That a government is created where all all ideas are respected in it. که ما هم با دنیا زندگی بتانیم هم با خود و هم با همسایه ها uh, so that we can live uh, with our people uh, with the regional countries and with the international community under the same roof مراکزی که تروریسم تربیت میکنه و پرورش میابه او را باید دنیا شناسایی کرده خوب میشناسه باید توجه بکنه جلوش بگیره uh, the international community is very aware of the safe havens and uh, uh, of the yes. inter- uh, of terrorist groups and uh, they should be able uh, they should maintain this and uh, control this uh, issue that is taking place. And my message to the Taliban is You guys were able to uh, negotiate with the Americans for two years without killing any American uh, Americans in, uh, at all. Hmm. You guys are Muslim, you guys are Muslim, you guys are Muslim, you guys are Muslim, you guys are Muslim. You guys consider yourselves as Muslims. Uh, how were you not able to uh, negotiate and sit with your Muslim brothers uh, for one week? With the help of others, you come and invade your own soil and kill your own people. Uh, it's very obvious that the Taliban uh, are uh, being supported by the outside groups. And uh, their safe havens are located there as well. Well, uh, Ambassador Akbar, thank you very much for speaking to us here on India Today and on Five Live. Uh, we appreciate the time. This is a time of great upheaval for your country. That's an understatement, of course, given everything that's happened, especially today in Panjshir. We'll be looking very closely at what happens. Stay safe, and we'll be keeping in touch with the story. Thank you for speaking to us. Let's now zoom in on Panjshir and tell you about how this little outpost one of just 34 provinces in Afghanistan has for a large part of the 20th century been something that has resisted outside force. It is home to one of the greatest guerrilla leaders of all time, Ahmed Shah Massoud, and former Vice President of Afghanistan, Amrullah Saleh, who is there. Panshir, known as the Valley of Five Lions, Panshir, is located just about 150 kilometers north of Kabul, close to the Hindu Kush mountains. Panshir is also the valley of resistance. And here's why it always has been. The Panshir Walayat. Delta Alhamdulillah, the Islamic Marat Zwakuna Rara Sidi. Data the Panshir Walayat, the Makam Panshir, the Panshir Walayat, the Makam Claiming to have captured Panshir, a claim denied by the Northern Resistance, the Taliban's inroads have a telling new image. Where Taliban fighters can be seen entering the governor's house in Panshir and hoisting their flag. But as these images wash over a shocked world, and as the Taliban and Northern Resistance enter a war of claims, it's crucial to understand this fearsome outpost. Considered Afghanistan's last free citadel, Panshir, the land of five lions, located 100 kilometers northeast of Kabul, has never been captured by the Taliban or by any foreign force. So if the Taliban's claim now rings true, then they've reversed a very stubborn piece of Afghanistan's blood-drenched history. Panshir, a picturesque valley, is one of 34 provinces of Afghanistan with a population of just under 2 lakh people and Bazarak as the provincial capital. 
It is from here that Afghanistan's former Vice President Amrullah Saleh, claiming to be caretaker president, has been hoping to craft a full resistance to the Taliban. Panjshir was the Karm Bhumi of Ahmad Shah Masood, a resistance icon and loyal son of the land. He was killed in a conspiracy hatched by the Al-Qaeda and Taliban in 2001, just days before the 9-11 attacks. But the land of five lions has never bent. Panjshir stood as a resistance outpost even during the Soviet invasions in Afghanistan in the 1970s and 80s. And now, it's once again the epicenter of an anti-Taliban front. It is this outpost that the Taliban now claims to have crushed, a claim denied by the resistance leadership. The Northern Alliance was a military front that came up in 1996 to take on the Taliban and had support from countries like Iran, India, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan and Turkmenistan. The Northern Alliance has been a critical factor stopping the Taliban from taking over the entire country between 1996 and 2001. But in the wake of the Taliban's overwhelming new strength, fueled by huge military stores abandoned by a departing United States, defending Panjshir was never going to be easy. The Taliban are no longer a militia or a band of militants with guns in their hands. Instead, they resemble a professional fighting force. And Panjshir has always, remember, been surrounded by Taliban strongholds. Is the feisty little outpost holding out? Or as the Taliban claims, has it fallen for the first time ever? Bureau Report, India Today. Now, you're going to be hearing a lot about Panjshir, as you've no doubt guessed already, because it's the last outpost holding out against the Taliban. We've shown you the history. We've shown you the map. We've also shown you how it has always held out against outside force. Now, let's tell you a little bit more about the Panjshir Valley, widely known as the Valley of Resistance and the epicenter of the resistance movement against the Taliban. It's the same valley that Taliban now claims to have captured. Panjshir is known as the Valley of Five Lions. It's located 150 kilometers just northeast of Kabul, very close to the Hindu Kush mountains, population of about 1.73 lakh people. Most of the inhabitants belong to the Tajik ethnic group. The Taliban is mostly comprised of Pashtuns. The Tajik ethnic group comprises the resistance fighters in Panjshir. The valley has never fallen to the Taliban during the 1990s, nor was it conquered by the Soviets in the 80s because of its locate, location, which makes it a natural fortress. Now, the only access point to Panjshir is through a narrow passage created by the Panjshir River. All roads to the valley, valley are closed to outsiders. Now, according to some reports, there are about 8,000 to 10,000 anti-Taliban fighters inside Panjshir. Now, what are the challenges for Panjshir? The biggest concern is that the Taliban will put up guards around Panjshir and stop the supply of food and essentials. They've already gotten inside, they've reached the governor's residence, but overall trying to smoke out the anti-Taliban resistance force. An official report says the Panjshir Valley has enough food and medical supplies to last it till next winter. Also, Tajik fighters need bigger weapons to fight the Taliban terrorists, which the Abdul Ashraf Ghani administration never provided them with. Much of the Panjshir Valley does not have running water and electricity, with most res residents relying on generators for a few hours per day. Despite all these hurdles and challenges, if the Taliban have managed to capture the Panjshir Valley as they claim, then it's like catching a big fish in a small pond.